Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can use your dingbats again to make a border. This is going to be video four in the little mini series I've been doing over the last few weeks. If you're new to my channel and you've not seen the other videos, I'll try and post an information card on this video for you with links to the others. Alternatively, go to the playlist on my YouTube channel, select the Scan and Cut Canvas playlist and you should be able to find all the dingbat video tutorials in there. So in this video I've used a little elephant dingbat and I've created a border so that's what I'm going to show you how to make today. So I'm going to go back to the main page of Scan and Cut Canvas. I'm going to open a new project And then again, using a dingbat font from dafont.com, I'm going to show you how I just created this simple elephant border. Obviously, you can use any dingbat you want to make the same type of thing. So I'm going to open the Brother Scan and Cut Type Converter. The letter that I need to make this particular border is a lowercase c. So in the box here, I'm going to type lowercase c. The font is called Ellie font and I'll try and zoom in so you can see the name of it. Now, when I downloaded this font and installed it, it's this one here. It also installed this one underneath, which is not the one you need to choose. You need to choose the one that's all in capitals. That's how it appears in my converter anyway. And it's the one with the spelling E-L-E-F-O-N-T. And I can see there's a preview there, or I can also click on preview, and that's the design that I want to use. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to make it just about 96, just so it comes in a little bit bigger, although it will still only be fairly small, because obviously these are fonts at the end of the day that we're using. And I'm going to say save. I'm just going to put it on my desktop so I know where it is. And for now, I'm just going to leave it with the generic name here, because <clears throat> that's all I need at the moment. So it's here on my desktop. So now I'm going to come to the SVG icon. I'm going to choose and it's here and I'm going to say OK. So there it is on my mat. So what I'm going to do now, you can see here, it's just over an inch high by just about an inch and a quarter wide. I'm just going to drag it out and make it a bit bigger. I'm going to make it about two inches. It's not vital. You can obviously size it how you wish for your project. But I'm thinking this might look quite nice as a scrapbook border along the bottom of a page. So you want it to be a reasonable size. So I'm just going to zoom in. While it's all selected, I'm going to right click, select ungroup. And as you can see, it's got several bounding boxes around it, which shows me that this is in various sections. So all these stars are individual. The top part of the body is individual and so is the bottom part. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to select the bottom part and using the up arrow on my keyboard, without moving it in any other direction, I'm just going to move it up until it overlaps here. I'm going to select the top half, hold my shift key down and select the bottom half. I'm not touching the stars at all, just the top and the bottom. And while just those two bits are selected, I'm going to go to edit and weld and if I've got enough of an overlap here it should weld together okay and it has so now I've got the body as one piece and then if I right click and send that to the back I've got the stars as individual sections now what I want to do is punch these stars out of this body so that when I resize it or duplicate it it all sizes as one item if I select it all and go to properties and fill it with black, just to show you, you can see that it's all filled with black, but I lose, the, the stars are still, are still there, but they're individual items. And what we actually want is to punch those stars out of the elephant body. As I say, I've shown you this in previous, vi in previous videos, but if this is the first one you've seen, then I'm just explaining it quickly. So while everything is selected, so the three stars and the body, just close that down. I'm going to go to edit, 
subtract and because the stars were on top of the elephant that's punched the stars out it's like having a piece of card in the shape of an elephant and then you get a star punch and you just go along and punch the holes in that's as simple as I can explain it for you so there it is filled with colour I'm just going to take the colour out of it just while I work with it and I'm going to zoom out a little bit more so what I want to do now as I said this design now is about two and a, just over two and a quarter inches wide and just under two inches high I'm going to right click and duplicate and duplicate it again and make maybe about five, so I've got five in total so I've got one two three four so one more five and then I'm just going to space them out next to each other and it doesn't have to be vital at this point I'm just going to zoom out a bit more so you can see all the mat I'm going to select them all come to edit and I'm going to line them all up on the bottom edge so I'm going to say align bottom and they've all jumped into line so now I'm going to try and zoom in for you a bit more on the elephants and what I'm going to do now I'm going to select this next one I'm not going to move it in any other way other than to move it to the left slightly with the left arrow on my keyboard so the four directional arrows that you normally have on your keyboard I'm just going to use the left arrow to scoot it over so that I get this line here overlapping this trunk and you can generally see when they start to overlap and I'm just going to go along and do the same so I'm going to get this one bring it over to the left so you get an overlap I'm going to move this one over slightly this next one bring that one over and then hopefully the last one and now I'm just going to zoom to fit to map just so I can see everything in one go so if, if I've overlapped them enough now with them all selected I'm going to go to edit weld and they should all weld together and by that I mean if I zoom in you can see that the line is missing from there now and there and there and there so they've all welded together and because I did the edit subtract function on the very first elephant that I brought onto the page by subtracting the stars from the elephant now I've welded these all those stars say stay in place because that is effectively one design if I hadn't have subtracted the stars from the first elephant but then I just duplicated them when I come to weld them here all those stars would disappear as I say that has been covered in previous videos so just go back and look through the previous three videos and it should all become clear so that now is my elephant border so I'm just going to fill it with a grey colour just so that you can hopefully see it better on screen I'm going to give it a stroke and a fill in the same dark grey and that is now my elephant border and that's a simple way to make a border from a dingbat I hope you found that helpful I hope you've enjoyed the little mini series I've done on using dingbats the Brother Scan and Cut Type Converter is brilliant now. It opens up so many possibilities for our crafting with our Scan and Cut machines. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.